Hey guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, our wonderful space colony of Leaky Paradise. Unfortunately, the wonderful space colony has just started developing more than a little bit of a stress problem. So I think what I'm going to do is start thinking about how we can maximise our massage tables here. I'm going to do it actually by doing something like this I think this is we're gonna make ourselves a new room that that's what's gonna happen that is how we're gonna ease ourselves down you can see we've got a lot of uh, vomit all over the floor indeed it's become a bit of a problem everywhere I don't mind if it dri drips down and under here we will definitely get that sorted I was told on the internet that if I replace all the lower tiles with uh, liquid permeable tiles it becomes not a problem as everything just kind of drains through now this sounds like a great idea but I d obviously don't want it draining into here uh, I would prefer it not draining into here and I would definitely prefer it if we could keep it out of I don't know my food area and stuff like that at the moment people go around and tidying up which means this has not been prioritized the highest I mean like what what are they playing at let's try that and see what happens let's cancel this one up here as well okay also let's have a look inside our research and think what we want to get going with here the combustion is something that does interest me but i think at the first we're gonna go fine dining not that i think anything is really uh, uses contaminated water to produce fertilizer converts two mush bars into one deep fried mush bar in fact i'm not i'm not sure that i actually want any of those but we're gonna get them for completionist no we're not we're gonna we're gonna get this one i was gonna say for completionist sake but that that one uh here with the uh, carbon dioxide filters a gas filter of some description and a liquid filter all these filters sound like a great idea for being able to sort out a few of the problems that we have on the go here perhaps even we could um, streamline some of the pipe networks and just put filters in place instead i don't know i don't know it's just ideas that are rocking around my head at the moment so we appear to have a lot of oxygen here barely breathable oxygen here i am told that these planter boxes actually absorb oxygen not carbon dioxide as you would imagine also we're having a lot of problems with contaminated oxygen over here so let's prioritize this up to the maximum okay now that we've gone over all the problems that are currently existing in my playthrough here let's think about how we're going to fix them all now as i said this this is a thing that needs working on um now the stress room so let's set that up ready to go hopefully we can get everybody uh doing so the lack of algae is a little bit of a problem we do have these two bio distillers ticking over though so everything should work out okay you had a ladder to get up and down with there forest i'm not sure what's going on five kilograms of algae though that's pretty good that's going to make us some top notch oxygen at some point where, where are you going buddy there you go. Okay, that's cool. I also want to prioritize this one here. Nine. Let's just make that a thing, shall we? Brilliant. Okay, so I've gone around and removed the owners from all these massage tables. I'm going to set their priority up to about eight because dealing with stress is a high priority job. Uh, we're going to leave Zach on this table as they are one of the higher stress people. We also need to do a misaligned. Okay, George was the next one, so let's do that as well. I'm just going to go through and do all these high stress people. Uh, Atherin uh, in here. Who else do we have? Uh, Captain Subs and forest okay with water coming up here and uh power being such a not power sorry oxygen being such an issue i'm going to make an electrolyzer here this is going to give us um hydrogen as well which i think we're going to have to allow to just escape up here which it should do in looking at the flow of stuff here i don't see any reason why it wouldn't and we're going to take that out as well if we can as soon as someone gets round to working over here we should be all good maybe put down a few more massage tables just in case i think there is at least one other person we need to put in there uh having real trouble getting ourselves working over nicely though so i'm um, mm, uh, we can't get our stress down too far. We're currently totally running out of power. Uh, maybe we should have got the coal combustion engine on the go. Yeah, maybe we should have. Okay, with that underway... Oh, where, where are you going? What's going on over here? We picked up some igneous rock. We shouldn't be making stuff out of igneous rock anymore. We should just continue making it out of sandstone. I just assume... Oh, man, atmospheric pressure is too low. I just assume... 
that when we reloaded the game, it stopped um, stopped building out of sandstone. I did just take a quick break, so maybe, yeah, look, everything's uh, being made out of igneous stone now. Okay, we're at full pelt through the night. That should be fine. Little bit of a breathing problem. When I say a little bit of a bit breathing problem, there is a big breathing problem here. Uh, power is still, like, the top priority in our game, so that should be fine. Uh, we didn't actually do the combustion did we How, what's going on here the advanced filtration has not even been touched so let's let's go for some combustion as soon as everybody is chilled out we're down to 97 percent, so it's definitely working back up to 98 who 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 took that extra point of stress forest forest why are you not chilling out forest what's going on here captain subs uh, no, I sped up the game instead of slowing it down. There's Mad Frank. There's Forrest. Uh, you gonna go chill chill out, man? No? Oh, no. Here he goes. He's on a lash out. Okay. I mean, I suppose that's fine. I would have preferred it if you didn't destroy my only power source. But, nah. That, that's a thing. Um, how are we gonna get them making sure that oxygen keeps coming through? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because oxygen is our big issue at the moment, I think feels like it is anyway we're just gonna let forest continue smashing this up and as soon as he's done repair okay that that should be all good now if anything forest should be the guy that we make repair that but it's just not gonna work like that i don't think still power for um for a shower though that's nice maybe getting all clean will chill him out just a little bit more we can hope we can hope. Uh, I'm going to look at the jobs. I'm going to look into uh, power generation. Look for everyone. Everyone can make power. So whoever uh, actually is spare should be the person that goes and does so. Uh, it would be nice if we could get these batteries charged up. But I think that's going to take a little bit of time now. Forest is running out of oxygen. Everyone is running out of oxygen. This lack of oxygen is quite a thing. We do keep making more diesel that uh, diesel more uh, algae though so it should be okay uh this is clay let's just take out some of these bits of slime or at least prepare them for being dug out uh yeah that looks okay that looks okay there's a few steps there Okay, everyone's spending too long on the stress couches. I'm going to put them down to seven, see if that actually helps at all. Uh, it's the power. I want the power up and running. Hopefully that takes a little bit more of a precedent over the top of getting stressed. I, I'm not sure, though. Like they, they all seem to have a different idea of what's important, which I suppose is okay. Like They don't have to follow exactly what I think is a good idea. Would be nice if they did, though. So we just had an outbreak of stress vomiting. It is a little unfortunate that, that this is a thing that happens. It does flow, and that is the main thing. I literally just tidied all this place up to try and stop them having to run through vomit every time they come out for more... Uh... Oh, people are starving. This is not good. Is, is this finally the time where things start to uh, completely break down on me? Like, we have got such a large base here that I'm having trouble even keeping the air pressure up. So this might be a bit of a problem with what's going on here. I would have liked to have... Oh, look at that. Uh, I would have liked to maybe kept it smaller. I didn't really understand what was going on at the beginning of the, the season here. Uh, I think we did okay, though. I think we did okay. I'm definitely going to run this down into the ground. I don't think we're going to actually get to the point where everybody dies. Uh, just they, They're pretty good at keeping themselves just ticking over, especially with all the equipment that I've got in place. Everything is literally just just ticking over nicely all on its own. The lack of algae is a bit of a problem, but it's that lack of power is causing that, unfortunately. Uh, what's going on here? We've got some sand being delivered. Let's let's speed this up. Let's go full hill. We've <coughs> completely run out of food, which cannot be um, solved until we get more what, air conditioning underway. So let's have a look. At the end of last episode, we got managed to get ourselves this thing. I'm not sure where it lives. Like that, okay. Can we flip it? We can't flip it. I'm going to try putting it right there. Let's see what happens if we start cooling down from this side. You can see it's overheating, so that is something we want to get on. Uh, oh, this starving business. Let's also get some of those mush bars undergo. I don't know if that's going to be something that actually ends up getting fixed. This says it doesn't have any power. That that would help. That would, ha that would have probably helped our situation a long time ago. So we pull this down here, and then... Is that where we want to go? No, that's where we want to go. That's That was a little unfortunate. And then hopefully when that happens, it will show me where the pipe needs to go. Come on, Mad Frank. Let's let's just drop a few things. We've got more stress vomit coming down. That's uh, unfortunate. Let's try that. 
tidy it all up if we can. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, but we got we got people cut tidying here. That's uh, quite a lot of grams of uh, nasty, nasty water you're cleaning up there. I mean, a hundred grams of liquid. That's 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 a small glass full. Um, so this is probably going to become a problem. I've got a small crew here constantly mopping up all the liquid that's coming from elsewhere. I could definitely see that becoming an infinite loop that like no one ever can solve. Uh, so let's see what happens if we just like mop everything up. May maybe somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. As soon as they started cleaning these upper layers, everything became just a little bit nicer to deal with. Hopefully, once they've done that, they can just all go into the shower and clean themselves. Like, uh, no point do I see people being totally... Oh, who's lashing out now? What, who's lashing out at what? That, that's more the important thing. Uh, can't spot them anywhere actually doing the damage. So, I mean, if I click, what happens? No, nothing, nothing seems to be so bad. Oh, look, here's one of these morbs that, that eats the chlorine and releases contaminated oxygen. I wouldn't mind letting one loose down here somewhere. You can see I've got a fair amount of chlorine. Yeah, it's all even like starting to spread up there. That's uh, a little unfortunate. What I think I'd like to do is... Maybe that will let them through? Maybe, maybe. More stress vomiting. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, there we go. No, nope, don't see it happening. Must have happened in the toilet. That's brilliant. That's almost exactly where I'd want it to happen. Oh, look up here, though. Look up here, though. Uh, so the thing I forgot to, uh, to do this time through was make my place look nice. We've got no sort of decorational blocks on the go. I tried to do some last second. <gasps> A duplicate has died. This is bad. This is very bad. We're going to make it out of sandstone. Top priority. Put it right on top of George. Uh, maybe we're going to spew in... Uh, spew in. Spawn in one of these morbs now. That, that definitely feels like something that might happen. Uh, the algae is being distributed around pretty nicely, though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Just the amount of vomit is becoming a real hassle here. A real, real hassle. As the electrolyzer got hooked up, it is not another duplicate has died. I think. I think this might be it, guys. Forest, you starve to death, dude. Um, okay, well, I think, actually, the last bit of this episode is going to be us watching this colony die. Uh, I will definitely be up for doing season two. End of this episode, I think, no matter what, we're probably going to end up folding this. The stress just got too much to handle. It's something we're going to have to deal with fairly early on. As we start with just the three duplicates, I am tempted to give them their own separate rooms... Oh, that was nice, Miss Align. Just go and throw out. Well, at least you throw up in the in the mines, not actually inside the house. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. Any more duplicates have died? Zach's dead. Oh no. Oh no. The 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 starvation is the problem here. The starvation is the problem. Maybe with the lack of vomiting, people can go around and get a few jobs done though. Um, that that's the that's the the bright way of looking at it, right? That's that's how we're going to look at this. I've told everyone to go around and start cleaning up this vomit, though, and no, no one seems to be doing so. I suppose their personal needs, like the ability to be able to breathe, kind of outweighs that. We do have oxygen on the flow in here, but just look at all this contaminated stuff. Perhaps if we put, like, I know this is last desperate efforts. If we put one of these up here, that might help a little bit. I'm not expecting great things. We are down to a three duplicates. Three. Oh, no, during the night we've had Mad Frank and Misaligned sadly kick the bucket who who are the f past uh, who are the last two to to uh, live uh, we have got atheron and it says two who's the other one captain subs where are you buddy oh you're you're cleaning up the vomit from your dead friends uh okay well that's a thing um who's lashing out no one's lashing out forest is dead what <laughs> captain subs going for a shower that's nice that's nice. Maybe it will help him feel better about what's going on, just to feel a little less grimy. Uh, I doubt it, though. I doubt it. No one is hooked up to going for the power. Do we get our new duplicate out? Let's do it. Hey, welcome to the death zone. Um, who have we got? We've got a runner here. Hey, another three. Uh, I, can, I can type. Welcome to somewhere where you're going to die. Uh, it's like there's, there's no way we're going to do anything other than watch you die here, but it's going to be the thing that happens. Oh, yeah. Well, at least with everyone else gone, we're starting to get this place looking spick and span. If I press this, actually, let's get this mopping up a little bit nicer. Um, so, things to remember for future. The farm area needs to have thermal regulation pretty quickly. That is something that needs to happen. Stress is a big problem. We need individual areas 
being kept as nice as possible. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with the decor level or not. I'm not sure how you would check that, to be honest. I, I'm really not sure how you would check that. Um, who's got... Oh, have we lost one already? Who, who's died already? The captain subs went... Oh, man. That, that's unfortunate. Uh, we are down to Atherin and another three. Uh, good luck, guys. I just... I don't think you're going to do too well. I don't think you're going to do too well. Okay, I think, yeah, Atherin has died. It's just another three going around on his own. Let's just slow it down to double speed here. Let's see what he does with his last moments in life. Hopefully, we should be able to get him to go store up some power. Let's, let's try that. Let's prioritize nine. We want this... To be the thing that you go and do um he's having himself a shower obviously he wants to try and finish up like he wants to die clean he wants to die clean i think he's gonna uh have a little problem with the amount of oxygen that's going on though that that is definitely a problem here but look at all the water being pumped through this is nice um i thought yeah we were out of power so is he gonna finish his shower i don't know is he gonna be able to finish his shower this is this now interests me how far? Yeah, we got the one. So what are you going to go do now, dude? You've picked up some sand. You're going to go deliver it to this filtration unit. That's that's nice. Got to got to keep everything going, right? Uh, <laughs> immediately straight back into the shower. What is the priority on the shower? It doesn't say. It says an art, like we've got nines there, but we're about to run out of water. I'm not sure what he's going to do when he ru completely runs out of water. Um, how much? How do we find out how much water is inside it? Details. Bottled water. We've got four liters, give or take. Uh, more is coming in from the outside, or more was coming in from the outside. I'm not sure if it still is. Looks like it is somehow. I'm not. I'm not sure how. Uh, <laughs> and now he's going to clean up the the vomit everywhere. I I think you're gonna die in your sleep, man. I think you're gonna die in your sleep. Oh, he was a loud sleeper anyway, so that was a good idea. He was a loud sleeper, so letting everyone die was a good idea. I'm not sure I follow my logic there, but, you know, that, that was good, right? Uh, we got someone with the spores down here. Ah, oh, man, it's literally just a clean-up job. We're, we're going to try and clean up all the vomit, so when the archaeologists... Archaeologists? Yeah, I know what I'm going for, the archaeologists. So when the archaeologists come through, they don't think we're absolute scumbags, even though we were absolute scumbags, right? Uh, another three, what are you, are you once again trying to get yourself a shower? I don't know, maybe this shower is more trouble than it's worth. How much contaminated water does it have left? Uh, empty pipes, there we go, right. So you've just got to go around and be a bit of a scumbag until you can clean everything up. Let's, uh, priority eight. Clean up all the, uh, all the vomit. I'm not sure if he's a vomiter or not. Here we go. Let's have a look. Stats. Uh, he is a vomiter. Okay, so he's just going to add to the troubles, I suppose. I mean, what, what else is he going to do? Just go around and mop all this up? I'm not sure how long he's got left, left to live. Hmm, he ran right past this little bit here. So let's eight those. Not, not eight as in at them, but let's eight priority those. Is he going to go along and clean them all up? I don't know. Well, here comes some uh, contaminated water. It's going to go down. It's going to jump over and then drip out. We all saw that. Lovely. Lovely. The water system is probably the best part of this base. It is a bit sprawling and with lots of junctions and crossovers. We could have done a little bit better, but, you know, we could have done almost everything here a little bit better. I know it's a bit morbid just to follow him around all this time, but I, I'm legit interested in what his uh, mode of death is going to be. I should imagine he's going to starve, but mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so here goes the power. Let's let's try and build up some power for all of this. I'm not sure what he thinks is going to happen. Is he even going to be able to like build up power in the batteries i'm not sure yeah no it keeps draining down just as quick as he piles them up so he's probably going to die from exhaustion in this little hamster wheel here uh perhaps we could turn the lights off is that a thing we can do disable and disable this might not be the best plan but i'm just trying to uh stop all the automatic systems completely draining all the power that said i'm not sure if he's actually going to get off that wheel now at all Hey, he got better at running, right? I think so. Let's have a look. Yeah. He, oh, his tinkering got better. But look at that dribble coming out of his mouth. He must be tired. Uh, I can see a little green mark there. Are we getting any power at all? Three, three kilojoules is the constant in. Mm, that's nice, I suppose. 3.1. Oh, it is going up, but really not much. Insufficient resources. That's for the sludge boilers. That's okay. I don't mind about that. I want... Oh. Oh. 
Here we go. We've got a uh, oh, uh, we've got a, a chlorine eater here. That's that's interesting. Is he going to go around and actually eat all the chlorine? That is the question. Okay, I'm also interested to know what happens when they run into each other when another three and this or well, these morbs run into each other. I presume they're called morbs because they morbidly hang around dead bodies. Is that a thing? I'm not sure. Decor, tasteful monument, just in case, you know. Wherever there's a dead body, let's put a tasteful monument somewhere nearby. There's a couple of people down there. I, th I think maybe we'll get there. Uh, is he once again just making sure he's clean? Good luck, another three. Wait, where are you going now? What have you done? You're going straight back to the shower. Okay, starvation has just set in for another three there. He's gone to the toilet, back to the shower. He's literally just spending his entire life in the sanitation rooms here. That's uh, an interesting way of doing it. Uh, also, having to come out and grab oxygen all the time is definitely a downside to what uh, what is going on here. So the number of calories inside another three is dropping constantly. Uh, yeah, literally constantly, which I suppose makes sense. It would have been nice if we could have uh, had some sort of tie-in with like how fast he was moving or what, what jobs he was doing. Uh, 700 calories. We're just going to slowly watch it all count down. Uh, it keeps resetting the, the thing on me. That's that's unfortunate. Stress. You're, you're a stress vomiter. Oh, another three. What are you doing? Why would you vomit on yourself? Especially when you've just gone into the uh, into the shower as well. Is there actually water to run that? Oh, you're letting it all out, man. You, oh, 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 why? Why? Oh, and now it trickles over the edge. Suddenly, out of nowhere, we can grab another duplicate. All right, let's have a look. Diver's lungs, interior decorator. No, no. Let's go with this one. Hey, um, who have we got here? We got Callum. All right. Let's put you in here and print. You're going to die very shortly as well. I don't know why I've done this, but we're just going to push through. Somewhere along the line, we've picked up 500 calories of meal lice. Okay, so this is starting to work again. That That's quite interesting. Someone at the meal lice for breakfast. I'm not sure who it was. I didn't even see it go down. There's a load of mess tables over here that no one has used for a long time. Where's another three going? Hi, Callum. Welcome to the space station. Uh, the first thing we need to do, to do is mop up all these dead people's vomit, if you could, please. Now you've decided that you'd rather go and do the algae and the oxygen. I understand the priority there. Uh, it's definitely the one that uh, yeah, maybe I would have prioritised. But if we could just get rid of everyone's vomit, that would be great, please. No, you don't want to do so. You want to go and just hang out in the shower. Okay. Um... Is anybody dead? No, we still got the two people running around. We've got another three and Callum trying to hold out. Just trying. Uh, mop this up with a nine again. Let's see what happens when we do that. Um, everything all right? Look at this contaminated oxygen. That's from the morbs. It's got to be. Now, are these guys actually producing extra oxygen? Is, is that a thing? Uh, it's just when it goes through the contamination unit, it'll become real oxygen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, we've still got food shortages, but we don't have starvation, so that's pretty good. Maybe all these plants here are going to help out. Uh, what are we... External temperature too high. That's fine. That, that's the thing that can be dealt with as soon as we get our, get ourselves back on our feet, I suppose. Really, I'm really surprised these guys didn't die sooner. Much sooner. Cycle 41, another three straight into the toilet. Callum mopping up people's vomit. Dead people's vomit, of course. Well, it might not be dead people's vomit now. It might actually be another threes, which which I'm sure is nice for him. Uh, get, really getting to know your, uh, your colony mates like that. Starvation has kicked in again. Another three is the man running out of... Uh, uh, calories. I suppose that's kind of okay as he's the one up here doing all the power generation. I'm not sure if that does make it okay, but you know, that, that's, that's the assumption I'm going to live under. Uh, it's going to be a little lie to myself to make myself feel better about what's going on here. The contaminated oxygen is definitely an issue here. If only we could get that one over there um, working, the oxygen scrubber. I mean, it just needs to be built. Another three has himself a mere 200 calories to go, and Callum's got 500. So let's zoom out on what... Is he going to die in the shower? I think he's going to die in the shower. How cliched, man. How cliched. Uh, 102 calories. Let's keep these here and watch them. Is it the moment we hit zero, he dies? 70-odd, uh, 60-odd. 60 we, can, we can definitely do it. And once again, spending all his time... He literally got in and jumped straight back out again. 
got in there went straight back out i'm not not entirely sure what that is about we are down to single digit calories there, there goes another three ah oh, dude so that that was your death callum you're gonna spend the rest of your time running on the power unit are you okay well you've got 400 calories what can we get you to do in the meantime i don't think let, let's just get the cancel out and clear everything Right, everything that's not immediately viable to your uh, your survival should now not be on your list. Let, let's have a look here. Down to the last 250 calories. I wonder if calories go down slower overnight. It, does, it doesn't appear to. Change per second, 1.7. I wonder if we're going to be able to get through. Uh, so for just being a duplicate, look, 1.7 calories comes off. 1.7 kilocalories, my bad. Uh, and I presume when we're doing stuff, that burning calories goes up. I don't know if we're going to make it through the night, though. Okay, burning calories, zero. That's fine. Um, a shower might not have been the best way to spend your last hundred odd calories, Callum. Callum. But we, we will find out. Is it, Do you feel better going to your death in a clean manner? Um, you didn't even get, get, your, get your shower done properly, did you? Uh, come on, dude. Four, three, two. Bleh. And that's it. All my duplicates are dead. We could print a new one, but I think we're not going to. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this first season of Oxygen Not Included. I am super up for doing another one. If you are interested, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Do whatever you need to do to put this message over to me. I will see you in season two when we're going to have a much smaller base. Much smaller base. Maybe maybe only about this big. Uh, and then we're going to go and try and do a lot more exploring. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!